Do you realise that at this very moment that I'm speaking, Donald Trump is getting inaugurated as the uh, President of the United States? <sighs> Keyscape. Well, more than Keyscape. This is Keyscape Creative. Uh, Keyscape is here. Let me just open up. This was released last year. And it's a bunch of keyboards. Look, you have acoustic pianos, belt and keyboards, all sorts of uh, goodies, hybrid pianos as well, um, which is the only section that shakes it up. The rest is sort of traditional acoustic and electric pianos, toy pianos, that kind of thing. And it's very, very good. It's beautiful quality. It's very authentic. Hey, I just kind of felt slightly disappointed that Spectrasonics have always sort of pushed things a little bit beyond the normal. And this just seemed a bit, it's nice, but it's normal and nice, you know. So this is the missing part for me, Keyscape Creative. And you have to load it in Omnisphere. So you have to have Keyscape and Omnisphere 2. And it's a whole new library. It appears here. Here's all my libraries. Here's Keyscape Creative. And you'll see, whereas with Keyscape, uh, switch back to that here, really, you've got a very limited number of... Uh, of types they're all keyboards basically they're all subsets of keyboards here we've got most of the of the categories that are in uh, full omnisphere and there are 1200 patches this is just mind-boggling amount i got vps avenger recently which is a terrific synth 900 factory patches come with it this has got more than that and it's a free expansion for anyone who has two and uh, what I thought I'd do, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to play 1,200 patches um, for the sake of everyone's sanity. It's far too much depression in the world. So I'm just going to pick a, uh, just two or three from each group here just to give you a, a feeling of, of where it's going. So let's get on with it. Arps and BPMs. Uh, let's see. Burning Rage was quite fun. Uh the, this one <laughs> it's a really horrible sound isn't it but in a good way you know how'd you get there from, from keyscape um perhaps a bit more like you'd expect what else have we got um Classic area trails. That was quite good. So already, I hope you're getting the idea. This is pretty diverse stuff, and it's good stuff. I'm not uh, doing anything like with a mod wheel, am I? Rather lovely. And of course, you've got categories here. Um, you can uh, analog. I love me analog. So, what? Uh, her Hermalog. This was quite good, wasn't it? Love all that stuff. Um, if that's your thing, uh, I could go into distortion. What did I have there? This was. Uh, these are fairly. <laughs> Extra effects on the mod wheel there. <laughs> you know. Uh, or what else? You plucked. I mean, you see all the sections here, all the all the uh, ridiculous amount of uh, uh, stuff. Oh. Fun in it. Uh, there's about 250 or something. 
arts uh, of all these many kinds. But, you know, we've all got homes to go to. Well, I'm at my home. Um, you know what I mean. Uh, the bells section. Now, this, um, this is perhaps what you might think is closer to what you'd, you'd think they would do with Keyscape, which is sort of keyboards based. Because a lot of these um, are just taking that idea on, I think. nice thing that you can whack it it's a very playable sound that's that's the advantage of using the keyscape sound sources because some of those are so rich kind of in in the variety and velocity i think so it becomes very playable you can just do it super soft or if you whack it it goes somewhere else. Uh, we were looking at this. <laughs> you know. Uh, this was good. Chocolate and toboggans. A very big Again, it zings when you hit it. You hear that bell right down there, don't you? Um, the bell section's terrific, actually. It's really, really good. Um, exactly what I'd hope. Distortion. Now, I think my favourite patch of all is this one. I love this one. It really reminds me from a Jean-Michel Jarre patch from Oxygen. Part two, is it? It's really just analog, old, great. Let's just have a look. I haven't actually done this. Let's see what it's using here. If you go into Omnisphere. So you've got two parts to it. Let's just hear part A. Oops. Which is... Obviously, using a lot of distortion on a CP70. Part B is what? Wing upright. And that's what the effects are doing in there. Put it all together and you have to... It's just lovely and old sounding. I love that so much. Uh, where was I? In the browser, Hellbeast Squeal. I've written a few down here that I thought were quite fun. Ripes. Apologies if that's just terrorised someone uh, in else in the room or in the next room. Sorry. Sorry, carry on, as you were. Um, loads of stuff here. It's kind of strange, though, don't you think? I mean... This... I've moaned about this for some time. My only real gripe, I think, with the way Spectrosonics have gone is these categories are bizarre to me. Distortion covers everything. It's like that's... It's, it's mixing up your nouns and your adjectives isn't it it's like distortion should be an attribute should be over here and they'll have distorted bass distorted drone these why have we got separate distorted things i i think they've made it massively too cumbersome and you you never know where to find things i'll probably come back to this theme anyway it's not to take away from the sounds or anything which are amazing but some of the categories you don't look in the obvious place sometimes electric percussion we've got a good kick here uh where are we still loading some of these are loading massive patches uh, behind the scenes. So some load instantly, but some of them are huge. Uh, you know, uh, what else have we got here? Glitchy China. That was quite fun. Mm -hmm. 
There you go. Electronic mayhem. All sorts of goodies are in here that you'd forget to look for. Sorry, I've just got to. I've got this on a separate screen. Writing down what patches I'm using. Ban Jovi. No, I've gone on one, haven't I? Oh dear. Back again. Aquaphone. There. Like the water phone. <laughs> Okay, elliptical orbits. All sorts of weirdies and goodies. Now we can go on to banjo, which is kind of a banjo made out of data. These are really useful, these um, uh, things here. It tells you where the sound comes from, sometimes ideas for tweaking it uh, yourself. does indeed sound like a banjo uh, but nice to all these things if it sounds like an instrument it's not quite the same and i don't think it's the no i don't think ever treat omnisphere as a well except with the exception of keyscape and trillion as a straightforward sample library they're all kind of variations interesting variations on things Very usable. That's really, really good. Uh, what else did I have? Oh, yeah. And then, see, this is the thing. You've got, like, a Tyco, which is um, slightly electronic, electrofied, but... I probably would never think of using that, of going into ethnic world if I ever do want a Tyco. Uh, all sorts of goodies in there. Guitars. The guitar section is amazingly strong, actually. There's some really, really good stuff here. Very much applies to this. Don't obviously think of them as real guitars, for crying out loud, uh, or you miss all the fun. Um, crying Roads lead. Oh yeah, this was fun. So very guitar-y, but... <laughs> Love those. <laughs> but then you go, oh no, it's sort of electric piano, isn't it? It's sort of both, which is lovely. <laughs> again Desert. What's that? Where's that? Oh, this one. I've just done in it. Lead guitar. Um... If you want to do something, if you want that kind of guitar solo, but not quite as crap as. got a slightly different tone to it isn't it uh where was i hits and bits hits and bits what's this all about assault bass plug crikey be careful hit that's ace actually very much for scoring, isn't it? But it's 
It's not too over the top, is it? It just, ooh, something's not right. Those overtones that are going on in there, lovely. Um, great stuff. Uh, oops, I skipped one, didn't I? You know, right, keyboards. Well, this obviously should be somewhere where, uh, where we'd expect to see loads, and there is indeed a healthy amount of keyboards. And a, it's a, much like the bells section. It's sort of what you'd imagine uh, this, this library would be, I suppose. <laughs> Again, often people associate spectrosonics with a big, lush kind of sound. There's a lot of more muted, no effects going on there that are obvious. Really good. Uh, and just as a complete contrast to that, I suspect. Oh, again, it's quite... It is very wide. I'm on headphones here. Uh, champagne in a should piano. Cosmic, where was that? Here we are. That's a yeah, the classic thing of what I'm talking about. You can hear the the source there, but they've done something extra with it. Apologise for my terrible playing. As I always do. <laughs> Be alright when I edit it in the door. Uh, you know, what's, what are we, where are we doing next? Noise scapes. Okay, well, this is... Do you see we've got textures, soundscapes, noise scapes? I don't get it. I don't really get the thinking behind these different categories. But... It's on the mod wheel. Through the wind? All going on there, and then you again on the mod wheel. <laughs> Great, you know, loads of them. Organs. Organs. So there's no organs in Keyscape. A lot of people think there are. There's not. Although there is in Keyscape Creative, and they're all kind of, you know, just sort of organ variations. So on the good action here on the mod wheel. So there's another good one here. Hymn Machine, I thought was really nice. Again, quite subtle. <laughs> he says playing something that's really unsettled. The steam engine has this amazing bottom end to it. Um, I do there. Yeah, some of these are nice and subtle, and uh, some of them are huge. There you go. Uh, pads. Pads and strings. There's a separate strings machines category, um, but th these are more on the... 
pad end of things and the strings I found, I think. Wow, that's just overcooking it, isn't it? Let's turn it down. Or how do you like Jupiter Reads, perhaps? Lovely stuff. Percussive organic. Again, we're into lots of stuff that overlaps. Uh, deep pipeline. That's quite fun. top end there and you're in trouble down the bottom end retro land wouldn't you like to live in retro land i think today of all days i would Nice. Electro ricochet. <laughs> Obviously, you might, you, well, you like the first bit, but not the second bit. You just go in there and edit that. That's uh, um, dead easy, but I quite like that combo. Uh, yeah, modern retro vibe. <laughs> through every patch, unsurprisingly. Another classic example, you know, that's a keyboard to me. If I want a keyboard, I probably won't go to Retroland first, because you've got a separate category here, Retro Keys, Retro, so why, you go, why isn't there in keyboards all these Retro patches? And You see what I mean? Moan, moan, moan. Can't please some people, can you? But there you go. It just makes no sense. Uh, string machines are some really nice stuff here. Um... Not a lot wrong with that. Love it. Creamy stereo ensemble. Don't mind if I do, sir. What am I playing? That's on the mod wheel, that's what that that's what that's doing there. Logan's upright, this is quite fun. It combines an upright with a string. It's on the mob wheel again. Where are we now? Synth bass. Well, always enjoy the synth bass. This was really good, the very first one, alphabetically. It's like DX7, but less plasticky. Chameleon vibe. 
my process. Oh, yeah. What's this? Ragged Jungle Bomb. Jungle Bomb. Really diverse, obviously. Synth mono next. Uh, sorry. Stream's gone away. It's back. Dive bar. bonkers little screamer little screamer there you are there you are ah oh, listen to that I've got to use that That's on the mod wheel as well, if we get that extra. Oh, come on, that's awesome. That's just awesome. Uh, synth plucks. Why do we have a synth pluck section? When we have a synth poly section, then we can have a pluck subcategory. Right, becoming the champion. Again, it's not all fancy. There's more. It's more of your sort of bread and butter stuff. I'll put an arp on that. Um, burst of malice. We're into sort of Dave Porter Breaking Bad territory again, aren't we? Synth Poly, which is normally my first port of call when I open up. Well, it's, it's not really. Do not be Poly Synth. On the mod wheel there, obviously. Analog Unicorn. This is all solid stuff, isn't it? Down the bottom as well. Omnisphere generally is really good at analog stuff, I think. It's very underrated. Uh, Big Sticky Shine? What's not to like about that name? Great. Synth Sweep. Why is there a Synth Sweep category? I don't know. Encounter at 20 Fathoms. Fun in it, glide and sweep. Feels like hide and seek. See. Nice, then nice, oblivion fall. Oh, it's great. Textures playable. Um, okay, so two textures categories. Uh, this is the one that's normally got some kind of tonal element to it.
very good. Because the mod wheel. Super echoey now. Are we underwater? Start going on about Trump again. It's just sound design heaven, isn't it, really? Um... so on and so forth. Textures soundscape. Uh, blissful sleep. So these don't have a tonal element. They just want to make a film now? Now? Just playing around keyboards is great. Great fun. Um, clockwork, this was good. This was fun. Equinox drone. It's on the mod wheel, that. Don't know what this is, but I'm here. Great, mate. Lovely. Transition. Or. Or. Nice, aren't they? Um... Cool. That's handy. A bell tree variation, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Um, and some finally some trons. Why isn't this in keyboard? I don't know. Again, we're a good territory here for uh, keyscape, aren't we? wheel high pass on the mod wheel Good, you know, I mean, that Mellotron vibe has never really gone away, has it? It's still pretty popular, but there's lots of good variations. Oh, I want to use that on a track right now. Great. Um, there you go. I could go on all day, but I will spare you. Uh, it gives you a, a flavour of it, and I know I didn't. I didn't really go under the hood because this is a, well. It's, it is ultimately a patch bank, isn't it? But 
all of this stuff you can just dive in you can um so if we go to synth poly or anything stick an art on its tree you know you can you can you're just away. Oh, that's the phone. And that's enough of all that, because the phone rang. Uh, that's it, really. Um, just a very quick one for anyone who is who does music forums. Uh, this is a new forum that I've helped set up called The Soundboard, um, which was as a really, from my point of view, I got so fed up with all the advertising, all the noise, all the shouting and the screaming, the developers all getting huffy and all that kind of stuff, that a few of us set up this little place that's um, just... A bit more civilized i hope and uh yeah there it is it's just a regular music forum but uh nice folks in there you have to register to see and participate but um it's free to do so and if that sounds like the kind of thing you'd be interested in then please join us that's it see you on the next one